It's not going to happen like that. You got to open up the Bible. And so a lot of times people say, well, I don't know the voice of God. I don't know how to hear, how to listen for the voice of God. You've got to spend some time in his word. And the other thing you have to do is you have to shut down the other voices. Sometimes the other voice is yours. The other greatest voice that you will ever hear is going to be your own. Because God a lot of times will tell you to do stuff and you will talk yourself out of what God told you to do. Because you'll begin to talk about all the reasons why you can't or why you don't qualify or why you don't think you can or why you shouldn't. And the Lord has already given you instructions to do it. And sometimes that voice is a gentle prompting. Sometimes it's not something audible, go to the left. He ain't doing that. It's a gentle prompting sometimes in your spirit, just that little nudge that gets you to go in a particular direction. That is him. And the way you try that is by the word of God. And so he says, my sheep, the ones who belong to me, they hear and are listening for my voice. In essence, they're doing whatever they're doing, but they're listening just in case I say something. They're going about their business, but guess what? They got their ear to the atmosphere, to the spirit realm, because they want to know if I speak, they're going to move if I should happen to speak. And so the sheep are out there grazing in the pasture, and they're running up and down, and they're frolicking, but they're also listening for the shepherd's voice. They're basically, they basically have this, this internal um, um, this, this conversation where it's like, okay, if you say something to me, I'm going to hear you because I know your voice. Wherever they go in the pasture, I know your voice. And so wherever you go in life, in business, in your family, in your career, I know the voice of the Lord. I'm listening for your voice. I'm going to work, but I'm listening for your voice. I'm going to work on a job, even though it may not be the ideal job. But guess what? I know your voice. And so while I'm working on this job, because I got to pay my light bill, I got to pay my mortgage, I got to pay my car note, got to pay my insurance. While I'm on this job, I am listening for your voice. While I am working in this career field, I am listening for your voice. Just in case you tell me to do something that I didn't already decide to do, I'm listening for your voice. 